The Roller Toolkit is a collection of helpful printable tools designed to be used alongside our clay texture roller sets. These tools are simple but effective and with a little practice can be used to produce endless amounts of game tiles, bases, and even entire structures. The first thing to know about the Roller Toolkit is that it's a large suite of tools, but you only need to print the tools you need. Options are available for each toolkit component to make sure you can find the right ones for the games you play. Let's look a bit closer at this set, and we'll demonstrate how each of the different components are used to help get started. First, we have the base cutters. These are available in various shapes, including round, hex, oval, rectangular, and square. Standard base sizes are included for each of the base shapes, so you can print the ones you'll be using the most. After using our texture roller to create some nice detail in our clay, we'll then use the cutter to quickly stamp out a variety of bases. If you already have bases and are just looking to add some detail to them, that's a perfect time to use the base topper cutters. Base topper cutters are similar to base cutters but are made to produce pieces that are slightly smaller to fit perfectly on top of standard base sizes. And by the way, these small holes found on the sides of these cutters are simply to prevent a vacuum being formed inside that could tear the model off of the build plate. Whether using a base cutter or base topper cutter, to get the cleanest results, try to keep the cutter perfectly level as you press down. Press firmly around all sides to ensure it cuts all the way through. This way, we're able to produce any amount of bases we need for our party, squad, or army. The next component of the roller toolkit we'll look at is the tile cutters. If you haven't guessed it yet, tile cutters are used to cut tiles. The variety of tile cutters included in the roller toolkit will enable you to make floor, wall, and roof tiles that can be used to construct an entire terrain setup. Similar to the base cutters, we want to try to keep our cutter as level as possible as it meets the surface of the clay, and then press straight down and try not to wiggle it. Use your thumbs or palms to press firmly around the outside edges to make sure you get separation all the way around. With these cutters, you're able to produce terrain of any size, just the way you like it. This can be extremely helpful when you need larger areas of tiles that would be very time-consuming or costly to make otherwise. This way, you can quickly produce highly detailed pieces that can be glued together, customized, and painted to make some awesome terrain and structures. Next, let's look at the roller tools. The roller tools included are all related to the actual rolling of our clay. There are rolling pins, handles, spacers, connection rods, and pressure moderators. While each piece isn't required, it's provided to serve a specific purpose. Rolling pins are available in 4 or 6 inch lengths and are used to roll your clay flat. Keep your hands flat and angled up slightly so that the rolling pin rests under your fingers comfortably, then use even force to roll forward to almost the back edge of your palm. Then just keep on rolling. We're looking to achieve a thin, even layer of clay that will not only be perfect for laying down some texture onto but will also help us get the most value out of each brick of clay. You can adjust the roller position or rotate your clay as it starts to spread out to keep the thickness as consistent as possible. Alternatively, we can use the included handles and spacers from the roller toolkit to help us achieve that consistent height we want in our clay to get clean looking pieces. Spacers of the same size can be placed onto each end of the rolling pin. The handles only need to be used when we're using spacers and are used to hold the spacers in place as we roll. You can get your clay rolling started first, then apply your spacers and handles to finish up and ensure your surface is nice and even. Now that your clay is looking good, you're ready to use your favorite texture roller, and keep in mind that you don't need to use the handles or spacers with texture rollers themselves, only with the plain rolling pin from the roller toolkit. The pressure moderators can be used as an alternative to the handles to hold on the spacers if you don't like to use the handle function and prefer to roll clay with your hands directly on the pin. Pressure moderators can also be used without spacers as a more manual approach to getting an even clay thickness by observing the rolling depth on the outside edge. Connection rods can be used to put together different roller sections, allowing you to roll multiple textures at once or make roller lengths that perfectly fit your needs. The final components of the roller toolkit are the grid presses. Available in hex or square patterns, these make it super simple to lay down a grid for those games that require it. Position yourself directly above your tile so that you can clearly see all of the edges, align the corners, 
and then lower it down as evenly as possible. Techniques may vary, but you may find it helpful to use open hands to press down on the entire surface of the grid press evenly. Then, carefully lift it straight up to remove it, revealing your perfect grid. If you have any slight imperfections in your pieces, just use a sharp blade to clean up the edges. And that brings us to the end of the roller toolkit. We hope you now have a better understanding of the different components and how you might use them yourself. The wonderful thing about combining printable tools with crafting is that you're able to use a variety of techniques to get the results you want. More videos are on their way. We'll be covering things like clay rolling technique and how to make specific pieces like tiles, bases, structures, and more. Let us know if there is a topic you'd like to see covered in a future video. We want to thank the amazing community that supports us and makes some truly awesome stuff. If you want to get your hands on all of the tools seen today and more, please feel free to check us out on Patreon.